Highlight over the city, you guys, and we got our next plus two, not one, two in the building. These are two specials right here. We've been trying to get them for a while. They are super busy. Mm. Um, um, first of all, congratulations on what you guys got going on, man. So, wifey, you got hey, to, you you might definitely, have to do let me just say this. You can't do that. <laughs> you can before. definitely not eat. I have to tell people about let the Let me food. tell you something, Terry. We're doing the show. <laughs> and so you have to put that down and get in, in the show mode, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Well, Kill it. All listen, right. I am very, very honored to have these two up on the set right now. Need to focus. I'm very, very honored to have these two up on set right now. And um, Joy, you know, I've been trying, even before Love and Marriage DC, I was trying to get Joy to come on the show just to sing, just to bless. Oh, I just gave up the secret. Just to bless us with her voice, right? Um, but now we have both of them. We got a combo, a knockout, dynamic duo. Um, they have been gracing your TVs on own network with our other family, Jamie and Raina Tyler, and some other cast members with Love and Marriage DC. They've also got some other amazing things going on in their own lives. They're going to talk about it shortly. I know you're doing stuff with the beard and stuff. Joy sings her face off. So you are welcome to the Spotlight family. Clifton and Joy Patty in the building! Hey! Yes, indeed. We We finally caught up with you. I know, right? I know. It's been a while. Thank you all so much. Thank you guys for being a part of Spotlight over the city, and we're going to get right into it. Yes, let's get right let's into go. it. Let's um, do we, it. We, we all know them from Love and Marriage D.C., but you know, that's, not, that's not where things started. No, no ma'am. Take us back. Which one of y'all want to do the rewind so Always keep, catch first. everybody up to date? Well, you know, the good times definitely was uh, Ready to Love. Okay. <laughs> ready that to Love. The, that so was people, the beginning. For people so for who have been living guys? under a rock, that's what where, is Ready to Love? Met. Ready to love. Yeah, some people have so, been living under a rock, so you might need to tell so them. So Ready to Love is a dating show where you have 10 guys, 10 girls, you date, almost like The Bachelor, and then um, you know you decide if you want to move forward with somebody, but of course there's a level in there where they throw in some drama. So. But you also can get voted out. I can't see it. Where you may not have a chance to have a chance. Right. <laughs> there's okay. a likability part in that, right. yes. Were you on there too, Joy? Yeah, we were that's where we met. That's where they met. Oh, okay. And, and so, how did that go uh, offset? Like, you know, we know that you know it's a show and the whole nine. Mm -hmm. So the chemistry had to be really, really authentic and real between you guys. Absolutely. Immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Immediately. I first. That's first, the first day we had. So yeah. normally, what they have is a mixer where everyone comes. And you meet there. It's like a meet and greet. And they provide alcohol and they kind of move you around to talk to people. A little bit of food, no air condition. Food, but not a lot. And um, it's outside. And you're kind of moving around, mingling from one person to the next. And then if they notice, this is what I've noticed anyway. Once they notice, if you have a connection with someone, they pull you away from you. So ah. they purposely separate the connection. I'm not going to say it's, well, if they notice it. Because I think what they have is a blueprint of what they expect you to do. Gotcha. based on what you provided when you first came there. For example, I'm in corporate America, so they're probably going to match me up with someone that's in corporate America in their gotcha. minds. Well, she's not in corporate America, so mm -hmm. so they wouldn't, have, Yeah, so they wouldn't have naturally just put you guys in that same Absolutely set. not, right. Well, and they kept me in a corner. They did? They I mean, did. They kept me in a corner, and each guy like kept going and kept coming in and out, and I didn't meet Clifton until pretty much like near the end, like when we had our break, like so, the one break that we had. And I'm like, well, I... I didn't get a chance to talk to you. And oh. he was like, yeah, I, I know. I'm like, well, we need to make that happen. So wait, back up a little bit, mm -hmm. because you said other gentlemen were, uh, you were entertaining other gentlemen prior to. Well, that's what happens. You have to. Okay. You, have to. You, you have to. So, so it's called a mixer. Right. So, so the mixer, you got to mix and mingle with the other I got people. you. So my yeah. question is, did you have any energy with anyone prior to meeting this gentleman? Because you met him kind of last, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So other people came in. Did you say, oh, he's cute or he's handsome or, or I like his teeth or any of that kind of stuff? <laughs> well, I do look at teeth. Teeth are good. Uh -huh. Teeth are good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, first off, it was so hot. That day was so hot, and I just wanted to get out of the space that I was in, like physically. Because so that's was, a yes? No. <laughs> what I'm saying, so, so the answer to the question is, I wasn't necessarily thinking, ooh, I have a connection with this person. I'm hot. I'm hot. Okay. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm, I'm being nice and friendly and getting to know, but I'm so hot, I really can't focus on whether I'm attracted to you or not or okay. anything because I'm sweating in my nether regions. You know right. what I mean? So, <laughs> right. I think know. everybody had like a different experience though. For me, um, 
you know, they told you to get there at a certain time. I got there. They said, be here at 11. Well, I didn't get pulled into the mixer until 4 or something. So me, I'm having oh. happy hour in my car. By the time I wake up when they knock on my window, I'm already tipsy. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm like, where am I at? You know what I mean? I so got then, you. I was <laughs> eating beef jerky in my car. <laughs> <laughs> so they come to my car. They're at Clifton. It's time for you to go. And put your suit on. And I'm like, I'm not wearing a suit. It's too hot. Uh, where well, you need to go home then. So I said, well, okay, I'm, I'm going to leave. I started pulling out. No, stop, stop, stop. That's why you saw the picture of me with a t-shirt on. He had wow. the wow. outfit on. The, the, he had the, everybody was in three-piece suits sweating their asses off. He, like, had, not he had the best outfit. He had, he had the on the best t-shirt. outfit. It was like the hottest day. And you said, I'm not wearing I had, a suit. I had the suit, but I'm not wearing it. Was so it was too hot. hot. I mean, I was watching these guys sweat through their suits, and I'm like, I'm not doing uh, yeah. it. You know what I mean? So, Joy, for you, Joy, mm -hmm. what was it about Clifton that attracted you the most? He made me laugh. He made me Aww. laugh. Like, that was, immediately he made me laugh. And off the top, he was being authentically him. You know, he was talking about things that, in my mind, I'm like, ooh, this is what I want. But I didn't have to bring it out of him. He was literally telling me he, he loves to travel, his love of music, the love of his father. And I'm thinking, like, oh, my gosh, I love my father, too. I, you know, our, our father's, you know, left out of our lives at, a, you know, a young age. And at an age in Both which... Both of you I, guys? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. And all, at the time, we're really like, we need them the most, you wow. know, and um, we we bonded on that. And uh, so hold it right there. Mm -hmm. What about you, Clifton? What was, what was the first thing that you saw that attracted you the most? Because it could have been multiple things. The most about Joy. The most. The first thing? The first thing when you when you first encounter her. So she laughed. I mean, her laugh is, I mean, it's loud and stuff, but like, if you're making somebody <laughs> laugh and probably you, like, annoying, but after, it, 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 after a while, it can be. But I mean, what I'm saying is that's where it was. So like, she had a sense of humor like I did, and I didn't have to force anything. Right. And that's to me, if, you, if you're meeting someone nowadays and you have to force it, then it's not really worth it. There right. you go. Because it's all right. about energy. Yes. It's right. all about energy. I agree with that. I agree with that. So, okay, so fast forward, ready ready for love, ready to love is over. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you get on Love and Marriage DC? And then let's just roll right into how does that work for you all? Well, Clifton, honestly, so after Ready to Love, I went back to Mexico. Mexico. So, yeah. So wow. like immediately after Ready to Love. So anything as far as whatever was going on here, Clifton was, you know. Now you all are in a relationship at this point, though. Yeah. Right? A long okay, distance relationship. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it was a long distance yep. relationship. Okay. I mean, immediately. So it was like mm -hmm. Ready to Lo Ready to Love took us like three months and change to film it. Okay. And then probably the week after she left. So like I was in shock. I'm like, what the? Like, how am I going to be in a relationship with you and you leaving? Now, where you were you I mean? located? Wait, knew. where were you located? I, I was, I'm in Maryland. I'm in so you were still here? Yes. And she moved to Mexico? She was already in Mexico. Oh, she, she was here, living right? in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what brought you to Mexico? Singing. Mm -hmm. Got you. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clifton, Clifton was coming. Clifton was coming. <laughs> Clifton was coming to Mexico like every two weeks. Okay. So Every other week. So. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So, you know, his commitment, his effort, like, it was just like, yes, like, I'm in this. I want to be here. And, I mean, shoot, in Mexico, they were looking forward to seeing him. They didn't give a damn about me. I love that. And so you guys got that connection to where you said, I want to be closer. So why not? You didn't make the decision to go there. She made the decision to close the well, gap. I assume Mexico well, was temporary. I mean, I have two right? kids, so yeah. I can't move to Mexico gotcha. and leave right. my kids. I'm a hands-on father. Mm -hmm. so I like, you know, respect to that. You know what I mean? I respect that. Yeah, and Mexico for Joy was temporary anyway, so she wasn't yeah. like making it her life over there, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. then you guys closed the gap, came here. So how did how did uh, Love and Marriage DC even come about for you guys? <sighs> Let's see. Uh, well, I think what happened was our popularity from Ready to, Ready to Love. Love kind of blossomed here, and they were already doing Love and Marriage DC. So from what I my understanding is that it made sense. So not only were, you know, the couples, you know, they were vouching for us to come on the show, um, I guess it just made sense to convert because we were already on the own network. Right. Yeah, okay, means, so yeah, ready okay, to look. Okay, so ready to look. Okay, so yeah, that was an easy transition, yeah. kind of, sort of. Nice little crossover. So <clears throat> tell us your experience um, on Love and Marriage DC. It's coming back. What can we expect to see um, that you can share um, just give us your overall experience about being on Love and Marriage DC. And something that we would be surprised. We've, we've seen some to stuff. We've heard up. some stuff. And, give um, us some juice. Oh, with some surprises. Yeah. 
Okay, give us one, Clifton. Let, what me, we let got? me do it how Carlos King would do it. Okay. Baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get heavy. Love and Marriage DC is coming back with a bang. With do a you bang. hear what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, so do There's you see that bang? There's going to be alliances. Okay, is it a good way? <laughs> And a good alliance, bad alliance, how do you see this alliance? Because well, I'm hearing that it's changing. one thing I can changing. say is changing. that everyone is exactly where they're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. Now. I'll go with that. Okay. I'll go with that. Actually, I don't agree with that because some people need to be in certain places and hospitals. Like, no, I don't agree with that. Oh, you're so, talking. No, you're talking. No, no, no. You're talking. I, everybody is not <laughs> where they're wait, supposed no, to be. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Did you say hospital? Don't no, we're talking about, <laughs> we're talking about like where they are in our lives. You're talking about a physical place. Okay, yeah. Okay. He's talking about no, mentally. No, I'm talking about. You mean as far as a couple, every, you guys. Everyone is exactly where they're supposed to be. Okay. Okay, so and we'll you leave can that pick right that there. How you want when y'all watch the show on January 27th, it's going to start then. Remember what Joy said. So match it up, connect the dots. Everyone If you is haven't where, already, it's been 9 months. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone okay. is where they're supposed to be. What is the biggest surprise we should look for? Well, if they tell us, then we won't be surprised. Lady, I was Well, talking to well, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll Well, the, well the thing is is You're that not this on love, a, man. I think what it is is that the surprise is that it's not a surprise. I guess it's one of those things. Like, um, at the end of the day, you have people who have different personalities. You know, everyone is cut from a different cloth. And, you know... That's diplomatic. This was, I'm very diplomatic. Okay, so we'll, I don't, we'll I don't know if you, re I don't know right if you realize that. <laughs> at, at, the, at the end of the day, let's just say ain't nobody lay, ain't nobody lay no hands on nobody. Let's okay. just well, say. That's a, that's a plus. That's uh, a plus. plus. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask both of you guys, and we're going to end it on this, right? You in your car. You got a one-hour ride. You just got a big old check. You feeling good. Mm -hmm. Your favorite artist. Who, is it, who you got in there? And you can't change it once you put it in. It could be a group or artist. Who you listening to? Nice. Good choice. Who you can ride. I was listening to the homie. Day. Shout out. What I can listen to Same for thing. an got, hour Joy? and I can't change. You can't change it once you. How put you gonna in? ask a singer that? Yeah, you just <sighs> have to. One you artist. Or, uh, it could be a group, but you can't change it. But I can't change and it. And it's only an hour. One it's hour. It's only an hour. Okay, Jamaricoy. That's what I'm gonna do. Who? Jamaricoy. Wow. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Okay, okay, give it up. Give it up. Okay. So yeah, the, so Devin, you can appreciate that to another singer. Yeah. Yeah, I asked that because. <laughs> I ask that question because it gives off some uh, some personal personality about a person. It does. What they listen to has a lot to do with their personality. So mm -hmm. that's why I kind of throw that out there. So I thank you guys for being. We run out of time. So I thank we you are. guys for being a part. Make sure they you tell them where they can follow you guys individually and um, what you guys coming up what have coming up next individually. Yes. Who's going first? Me? Joy. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, well, Joy Carter Music, Joy with an I. That's on every social media platform. Don't forget, we have our watch party at what, Citizens and Culture in, in Silver, Silver Spring, 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 January 27th. The 27th. We just, oh, we just opened up the uh, RSVPs. We already sold out at 500. We're opening it up to what? like... 800 now, so wow. if you want to get there, uh, it's free. I'm Remember, me it's free. on the list already. Whoa. <laughs> I'm glad Come we all better get up in there. So it's going to be an amazing time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Come yeah. drink with us. And if you want to follow me, I'm on Clifton the Fourth on Instagram and Clifton Petty on Facebook. You said that so sexy. Oh. And Say it one more time. And Give it to him. CNC Give it to him. Let me, let me CNC beard yeah, all, Do the Barry gentlemen. White thing, because you said you yes. could sing. Let me see. Do, do the Barry White thing. I sing great in the shower, but, you know, I can talk panties off. You understand? I don't got no pants so, on. So, you, oh, so, so, so just like myself, you're the voice to make a moist. Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, yeah. You're the voice to make a moist? I mean, moist, wet, uh, Listen, green shower. It better be only me. Thank you, Joy. We don't want no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want no trouble. Listen, so I thank you guys for being a part of Spotlight, man. Thank you, you for having us. You guys are doing us. some special <laughs> things on there, man. I like how y'all moving on there, and um, we definitely will be watching. We All will right. be 27th. watching. 27th. Make sure you are locked in. January 27th on the OWN Network. OWN Network And we, am, we still haven't told you who the uh, closer is for today. You just got to wait till after this next commercial break and see who's closing the show. Yep. So how coming up, that? we have the closer. Right. Spotlight over the city. Yeah. <laughs>